everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how you can create an automated daily journal with Notion. So let's get started. First, let's start by going to an empty Notion page and let's start by titling it Daily Journal. And let's go ahead and add an icon by clicking Add Icon, going to Icons, and we'll just choose this pencil icon. And then you can click Add Cover, and we'll change cover, and we can choose something like Clouds. And of course, you're welcome to choose the cover photo that you'd like as well. And let's reposition this, Save Position. And now we get into creating our daily journal. So this journal is going to be using a automated recurring task feature that Notion has. And in order to do that, we're going to start by just making a table view database by typing slash table. And we're going to click table view and plus new database. And we'll name this daily journal. And now we can adjust the properties. So first we need a created date for the date property. So we're going to click the plus button and then we're going to go with created time. And we're going to delete this property by going to delete property. And the next property we want to add is the completed check mark. So we're going to go to plus and then we're going to look for a checkbox. And we will name this completed with the question mark. And now we basically have the basics of this daily journal. So this is something very simple, but we just want it to allow you to track your journaling and make sure that you journal every day. So now what we can do is we can create a custom template inside of this database by going to this blue button here and clicking this arrow. And then we can go to plus new template here and we're going to actually title this with at today. And this is going to give the date that it's duplicated so that you'll always have today's date on the title of your daily journal. And then inside here, you can also add a pre-filled template. So for example, in your daily journaling, if you wanted, what did I do today? And what was I grateful for best moments of the day? And you can even add some spaces for photos. So if you do slash embed, you could just add some embeds so that if you wanted to add something to your daily journal, you could just directly do it like this. So this area is really free for you to explore how you want to structure your daily journals. So we're just going to add this as a placeholder, but we really recommend you to go with what you feel is best for this. And now we're going to go back. So we go back and what we need to do is we need to set this as a default. So right now the empty template is set as default. So in order to set this one as default, we go to the three dots here and we are going to set as default for all views in daily journal. So whenever you add a new daily journal, it's going to automatically pull up this template that we created. But actually what we're planning to do here is to make this into a recurring template so that you don't even need to click this and it's gonna be waiting for you when you wake up or if you journal before bed, it will be waiting for you whenever you open this in your day-to-day -day life. So for that, we are going to actually click here and set this repeat to every day. And you can choose how often it repeats. Since this is a daily journal, we're going to do one day and when it starts and when it starts creating at what time and your time zone. So we're just going to save this now. And now we cannot really show you because this is in real time, but it's going to be pulling up this template at the time that you set up here. So now we can just delete this and we'll just create one just as an example here, but it will be created automatically and automated once you have this. So all you have to do is just wait for this time to come. And now what we wanna do is to 
remove this from this page when it's completed. So once you finish filling this in, you want to press completed and for this to disappear. So in order to do that, we are going to add a filter so that it only shows the ones that are not completed. So for that, you click filter, then completed, and we want to show ones that are unchecked. And we save for everyone. And now what we can do is create a new tab in the next part here so that you can show all of your journal entries that are completed. So for that, we can click here and duplicate and we can type completed and then we can go to filter and now what we want to see are all the ones that are checked and save for everyone so now you'll notice that nothing appears here and here we have uncompleted so we can rename this not completed and let's say that we finish journaling so we open it up and we finish it, then we can click here and it disappears from here. And then all we have to do is wait for tomorrow until it's going to show up here again. So this is a really great way to automate your daily journals and you can even sort this by date here, for example, with the created date and then either ascending or descending so that you can always see all your journal entries here and you'll have an automated journal entry of the day appear here as well when you set it up with this button and finally what we wanted to show you is that you can remove this title here by going to layout and toggling off show database title so now it looks much cleaner and we'll do the same here and you've basically got your automated daily journal so that's the basics of creating an automated daily journal or diary with Notion. We hope that this is useful for you. We'll be leaving this completed template in the description below. And if you're interested in more features, we do have a line of daily, monthly, weekly planners over on our store, which we'll also leave in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know. And we hope to see you in the next one.